Hey foodies, it's uh, it's been a while. Welcome in everybody to the channel. I'm Das Food, and as I mentioned in the intro, it has been a long time since you've seen me. Uh, really long time since you've seen my face, but especially just in in terms of videos, it's been a long time. So I wanted to kind of slip off into the night without anybody, you know, knowing where I was. But then I got this really sweet comment recently where it said, "Hey." I, I don't figure you'll ever see this, but I hope you're doing all right. And that really put it upon my heart to let you guys know where I am, what I'm doing, and what I've been up to. So for those of you that don't know, and I think a lot of you do, uh, there was a very unfortunate situation where we did have a house fire back in January, and uh, unfortunately it did kill our pets, uh, our lovely Paco and Cleo. So. That was very hard. It was, it was a tough time, but you know, everybody, uh, I was living in a house with my brother at the time and we both made it out. So very thankful for that, even if it was a, a sad day overall. And needless to say, that did put a pause on things like content creation because all of a sudden I didn't have a home. I didn't have a PC. I didn't have any of that. So that all had to pause. Uh, but I will say this is a moment where I want to stop and just, uh, just really thank everybody for the love and support that we got on those videos. It, uh, not the, on the community post that I made about it. It blew me away to see uh, how everybody was so supportive. And, you know, I, I got to hear from so many longtime viewers, got to hear from some channels that I watched that it was crazy to receive love from them. So I, I even was told that there was a, there was a Reddit post or something. I'm sorry. I know I sound like such a boomer. Like, oh, they did the Reddit thing. <laughs> There was a Reddit post or whatever you would call that, uh, where people were uh, putting up thoughts and prayers for me. And that was really sweet. Uh, I only saw a few of the comments on there, but from what I saw, it was very, very kind. And I appreciate that. So firstly, I, I, I owe everybody a thank you. Thank you to everybody who was so kind, so loving, who reached out. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to name names, but some of the people that reached out behind the scenes and said like, hey, think about you. Hope you're doing all right. It was incredible to me that some of some of these people even knew my name uh, and that they were concerned about my situation it was really cool. And then there's also the uh, consideration of all the longtime viewers who reached out to let me know how much they care. It really means a lot because I'm just kind of the goofy guy that lives inside your computer screen. Uh, so for you to write these just really lovely, heartfelt messages about about all that. Uh, it, it was cool. It was really cool. And it took a really, really tough time in my life and made it a lot easier. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. God bless. That was very kind. Of course, one of the main reasons I wanted to make this was to have a video where I could let you know what the future looks like. And unfortunately, I, I think it has to be said that I don't foresee myself really doing a whole lot of Dead by Daylight content going forward. And, and I have my reasons for it. So I just want to explain very briefly. And I know I get long winded, so I'm going to make this one fast. But once I got uh, initial money from insurance, they haven't given me the full thing yet, but they gave me a little bit to live off of. Uh, one of the first things I did was go out, okay, get another PC, get a microphone, get all that. Let's get back to it. Let's do some content. And then I got it all set up and I just kind of found that at least for the time being, the fire is gone. I don't have that same constant desire to to stream, to to make videos, to always be writing a script or something. Instead, I have found that I'm finding a lot more fulfillment in other creative outlets. So I've gotten back into writing my books that I've been working on for a few years. Uh, they're they're probably terrible, but it, you know it's something I enjoy doing. Uh, I have started seeing somebody in real life. So she and I are just typically kind of, you know, out doing dates, hanging out, doing all that. And I'm not at home as much as I was. Uh, I have a full-time job that keeps me away. So I'm just not around like I used to be. And when I get home, I'm, I'm usually such a slow editor and all that, that I know that it would just be impossible to keep it up. Uh, so that's kind of, that's kind of one of the reasons I just don't think I'm going to get back into it is because I just don't really see a future in it. Now, will I possibly from time to time drop a video? Uh, maybe, maybe. I still kind of would like to do a killer tier list for the current year because I always enjoy doing the killer tier list and I've got that one scripted out and everything. So 
maybe maybe i'll do that one because with that one all i really need to do is get the gameplay and then edit everything um so possibly that one that one's a you know never say never uh and i do think i will occasionally stream just so that i can check in with everybody and they can check in with me so dos underscore food at twitch if you want to go check that out uh maybe it'll be dbd streams or maybe maybe it'll just be something chill like stardew valley which just at the time of recording just dropped a huge update so you know if you have interest in seeing more of me which i don't know why you do but if you do uh that's probably where you'll find me uh and maybe the occasional occasional video here it's just that the last time i took a break from doing all this with youtube was when i went to live in budapest for a semester and when I came back, it took so long to reestablish the foothold that I'd had in the community that I just realized, realistically, I, I just, I don't think this is a thing that I can really make a career out of. And at this point with my time investment, I don't know if I can even make a hobby out of it. But I, I wanted to give you my reasons so you didn't think that I, I was unappreciative of everybody that watched, commented, all that. I, I am appreciative. You guys have been awesome. Uh, it has been... It is so cheesy. I know I'm going to sound so cheesy, but it has been such a privilege and an honor to have people tell me how much the videos have meant to them and, and how much they enjoy, you know, the positivity I bring. Even if I've had some people say, oh, you're, you're, you're fake positive. It's, I, I promise you, I'm not, I'm just a happy guy. <laughs> I'm just a happy guy who wants to make other people happy. Uh, and the fact that I've succeeded in that to some extent is awesome it really really makes my heart happy so if you're watching this uh first off thank you thank you so much just for being here for this video that is so long overdue thank you for all the love all the support all that uh i hope that your life is fulfilling i hope things go well for you i don't know if this is goodbye goodbye but just in case it is you know i don't know man I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I, I hope that uh, whatever it is you pursue, uh, I, I hope it goes well for you because you guys have been so good to me. Uh, I hope life is good to you. But with all of the uh, sappy, sentimental stuff out of the way, thank you all so much. Uh, I hope to see you in the future. And until then, I have been Dust Food. Bye, friends.